What's cracking, big dogs? Welcome back to another episode of Five Fact Friday. As I told you all last week, I was probably going to shave my head. As you can tell, definitely did not happen. I still hear dog. And as always, we got the 50 second timer with these facts. But on top of that, this week, my laptop is currently on 9% right now. So I'm racing against that too. So if this comes out a little bit less quality than the previous weeks, you know why? Because I still got to find the charger and I don't know where it's at right now. But before we hit the intro and before we get into it, we have to do our giveaway. The person who guessed the fake fact last week was Nelson Hirschberger. He commented this five hours ago, which doesn't mean much to you because you don't know exactly when I'm recording this. But he guessed the Zach Ertz stat is, he wrote, Zach Ertz is the force god, LOL. The spelling wasn't there, but the execution, I know what he meant. You're going to win a chance to get into our Patreon, and not in our Patreon, in our Discord, which usually you have to sign up through Patreon to get into. If you want to claim that, DM me on Twitter. It's FBGod, not bunkbed underscore. I guess you could do that too. Our DMs are real dry over there. No women sliding in recently, unlike the FBGod Twitter where also no women slide in. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about five facts, one farce. So let's hit the intro. All right, we're currently on 8%, so we're battling against time right now. Let's put the timer up in the top right. I'm not even going to point because it mirrors things, and I don't know my left from my right as is. But when you're watching this, it'll be in the top right, and let's get straight into it. Noah Fant caught three touchdowns last season, each of which coming from a different quarterback, none of which coming when the Broncos were playing from behind. Melvin Gordon was on pace for 12 touchdowns last year, which would have made his streak of seasons with double-digit scores increase to four. The only running backs to have done that since 2000 were LT, Michael Turner, Adrian Peterson, and Sean Alexander. Allison Eckler saw 11 red zone touches in his first four games without Gordon, including five goal line carries, which when paced out to a full 16, would have led the NFL with 20 goal line carries. In games where he played greater than 50% of the snaps, Tyreek averaged 15.4 fantasy points per game, trailing just Michael Michael Thomas and Chris Godwin. Darren Waller averaged almost 1.7 less receptions and 33 less yards per game with Renfro in the lineup. He averaged just 2.7 less points per game due to Waller not scoring in the games that Hunter missed. Travis Kelsey, along with Julio Jones, D Hop, and Mike Evans, are the only current NFL players to have liked six consecutive 850 receiving yard seasons with six in a row. That might be the first time I ever did it all in one take, and it's a good time to do it because I'm now at 6%. And hopefully the timer didn't say anything beyond zero because, as has been a common trend, I'm not as quick as I may think I am, but that's going to do it for this week's episode. If you want a chance to win an entry into our Discord, which if you don't win, you can sign up through our Patreon, patreon.com slash BDGE, $9.99 a month. You get access to not only the Discord to get into Dynasty Leagues, we have also opened up redraft leagues to Patreons only. So if you want to get into redraft leagues with like-minded people and get to talk trash to us in some private channels, you can do that as well. Don't forget to comment who you want to see in next week's episode too. And as always, subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed, and have a great Friday afternoon. Peace.